Today on the channel, we're bad in the boat like a young George Thorogood with Tech and Hunter, Star Wars Black Series, The Bad Batch. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another Star Wars Black Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got Tech, we've got Hunter, we got the Bad Batch. But for all your Bad Batch needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10% on in all in stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get the deal out there. But these guys, they came from Walmart. Oh, our friends, the big W over there at Walmart, as these both are Walmart exclusives, as we complete another Bad Batch Squadron, I guess we'll call it. Of course, easy repaints here, I guess good for an exclusive, but a little frustrating as a lot of us in the Star Wars fandom, at least action figure-wise, want to get some new figures, some new characters, some new creatures. Instead, we get some repaints here. So either love it or hate it, not a lot of in the middle on these. And I've got some ideas how to display these, and I guess I'll explain that as we get into it here. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And without further ado, we're going to start with tech because that's the first one I looked at. So there you go. We're going to start with tech. And there he is, old Tech from the Bad Batch, uh, the brainy one. Uh, hence the name Tech, I guess. And this is his mercenary gear. Oh, everybody loves a mercenary. Got the red banner around there that signifies Bad Batch. Of course, you got the mural on the side. Little glamour shot of what's going on on the side over here. And then on the back, of course, got the blurb. Got a bunch of jibber-jabber down low. You got the glamour shot. And he is number 16 in the Bad Batch line, of course. But without further ado, let's get him out of the package. Spider-Man style, see you later, goodbye. All right, cardboard, work with me. There it is, see you later, goodbye. A little spin on that one. We'll get the figures out here. We're locked in the cardboard prison. A lot of accessories in the old parchment paper. Uh, that's for sure. There we go, slide him out, maybe. Holy cow, what are we doing? What are we doing here? See you later, cardboard. We're locked in at the feet. I need to get my scissors out. I can't believe this. can't believe what I'm seeing here. He's locked in that tight, but we'll take care of it. The hardest working scissors in the game. See you later. Goodbye. All right, parchment paper. We're going to be on a roll here. Christmas present rollout. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Up high. There it is. Then parchment paper. Interesting. You get a baggie, and then the other one's more parchment paper-like. There's some differences, some subtle differences going on. A lot of accessories on this one here. Be careful. Don't want to lose anything. A lot of small pieces. See you later. Goodbye. And then we get a little cardboard action here. Ah, his helmet. Helmet locked in the cardboard. A little car, a little box here. A very cool little cardboard box. Bam. See you later. Off the screen. There it goes. All right. Let's get down to business here. Let's look at tech and let's get tech's accessories looked at first before we dive into everything else. He does got one small little blaster going on here, and that is it. That is it in the weapons department. I guess he's doing more techie things. You know, he's working on the computer while the team's holding down the fort for him with the firepower. And just in case things get really uh, in trouble, he's got this weapon here. Just a black, small little blaster. So kind of is what it is there. We do get a backpack, of course. Big backpack on him. Gray color. Got some orange spots on it as well. Looks like we got a couple antennas that are loose here that you just plug into the top here. So I'm going to get that done. Uh, these are ones you got to be careful. These can be very easily lost in that parchment paper if you're not careful. So make sure you're taking a good look at it. Not sure if they go and if it matters what side they go in. No, it does feel like it does matter. They got different sizes. So you plug these into the backpack there as well. I don't remember doing that with the last one, but we're going to see here in a second when we compare them. But uh, definitely looking good right there. Of course, backpack fits in the back, G.I. Joe style, the way it should be. There you go. And then we do get some little tools here for him. Once again, very easily lost, so be careful with these tools. And one of these tools might even be an antenna. Let me pull that out. Is that, whoa, almost losing things again. There you go. I don't know. I'm not sure which ones are antennas and which ones aren't antennas, maybe. I might have to play around with this a little bit here because... This almost looks like an antenna, but must not be. It must be just a little stick. And I'm not sure exactly 
what these tools are either. I mean, this one's a little clamp, a little uh, wrench type tool right here. Got a black handle on it against the silver. Then the other ones just kind of look like uh, little torches maybe and a little uh, kind of baton. Uh, but they do store on the character as we do know. Uh, we've seen the past one for sure. So now we're going to dive into tech here. And I guess we'll start with this helmet. Of course, helmet on, helmet off. And one way I'm going to make these different is I think I'm going to keep the OG team with their helmets off. This new uh, repaint edition, I might leave the helmets on them, make a little bit of difference between the two. Or maybe I'll go the other way around. Not exactly sure yet. But it would make them at least feel a little bit more different than the other ones. Uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. You choose your own display adventure, as I always say. But you get Tex helmet going on here. Love the visor that does move, so it moves up and down, uh, side to side, so you can move that away if you need to. You got two more antennas up there at the top. Then you get the yellow in the front. You get the white color, the black, uh, a little bit of gray in there mixed in. Of course, it is the helmet for Tech. Slides right on his head. A little bit, a little bit tight. I'm gonna say there. Definitely a little tight tight fit on him he does come with these goggles he kind of looks like woody harrelson to me is what he looks like in the face department looks like woody harrelson but he's got the big old goggles going on these goggles are not removable they are sculpted there you can see the eyes through the back definitely looking interesting as well i uh, got a little receding hairline on old tech there it looks like he might have to give up the fight pretty soon we'll see what happens uh, but then we do get tech and definitely interesting and i'm a big fan of the bad batch i did enjoy series one or season one more than series two but series two was definitely worth a watch for me still i love just kind of the a-team feel of it all i'm a big a-team guy so love the idea of them kind of being like soldiers of fortune in some ways so definitely very cool here definitely first thing you notice with this figure here is the brown the overwhelming brown uh, satchels pockets uh bags all that kind of stuff going on everywhere here i do not see a spot for him to store his pistol though i thought there was a spot apparently there is not but you do got a spot on the side here for all those tools those will slip in there that you want to put them in there as quick as possible so you don't lose anything you get some around there some sculpted in around the legs as well down to the black shoes here of course articulation arms go all the way around for us you do get the side to side single jointed elbows hands back forth side to side of course the waist articulation i guess is the hula hoop no traditional waist on him decent splits if you need them Single jointed and elbows or knees, how about knees? And then a little back and forth there. And then ankles back and forth as well. So our usual Black Series articulation. Definitely an interesting one here of tech. Definitely the scientist, kind of the, the computer guy, the computer expert, as we do know of the Bad Batch. And he's seen better days as well, uh, some may say. So does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, he fits. I just push him in. But he does fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. So if you can put him on there if you need to. And we did get a prior version of tech. And I guess I just don't remember everything is what's going on. Is You got the tools over here on the side. You got his blaster on the side there. And then, of course, you got the antennas on the backpack, just like I have them. So I'm on to something. I'm on to something, I guess we'll say. So definitely very cool. Definitely tech. Definitely different ways you can display tech. Same thing, same figure, just a little repaint action going on. It's amazing how this brown color is more in your face than the brown color on this one. Definitely night and day between these two here. But definitely cool enough for what it is. But I can see, like I said, it is a repaint at the end of the day. I can see people passing on this one. But will they pass on the leader of the Bad Batch? Will they pass on Hunter? I guess you got to ask yourself. Look deep in the mirror, stare there for a while, and ask yourself that question. And uh, tell me the answer. There you go. But Bad Batch packaging, we know it. We love it. You got the red banner right there. Of course, you got Hunter looking good. Mural on the side, of course. He is number 15 in the line. Get the glamour shot of the figure getting on there. Then on the back, we get the glamour shot. We get the jibber jabber down low. And then, of course, we get the blurb on Hunter. What does it say about Hunter? Hunter, leader of the Bad Batch, is a strong and stoic soldier with extraordinary keen senses that give him an edge when tracking down his targets. And he always gives me kind of a, a John Rambo vibe. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. See you later, Spider-Man style. Uh, that's what I always think of when I think of him. See you later once again. Got the helmet locked in here as well. Gonna pull that out, possibly. Possibly pull that out. Maybe. There we go. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Getting the figure out here. But he, he does remind me of Rambo. I think that was intentional with that headband and all that kind of stuff. See you later. Goodbye once again. We're on a roll. There he goes. Old Hunter out of the package. Definitely some color on this guy here. See you later off the screen. And we get the old parchment paper. Oh, a double, a double fister in the parchment paper. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. 
Get it all out. Backpack, got weapons. There it is. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. And then you get a framed out. You hang this on your wall. It's a nice frame of a, a little knife here. A little, little pocket knife for old Hunter. And we did see that on the first version as well. If I can get this out. There we go. Bam! See you later off the screen. Screen getting a workout here today. Oh my gosh, it's super sticky from that tape. Unbelievable. Some of the stickiest tape ever is what these toy companies use these days. It's unbelievably sticky, but it's the way it goes. It's the way the old cookie crumbles in the old tape department here. But now we got Hunter out of the package here. Definitely interesting. Definitely feels, feels different, even though it is a repaint. But boy, it, it definitely feels different there's no doubt about it but let's dive into this one we do get the two pistols going on right here for him two uh, little pistols same color kind of a grayish blackish color uh nothing really to see there and then you do get that little knife going on you got a little yellow in that blade which is pretty cool and as we do know yep same thing it does store right there uh, on his forearm so he's got this ready to go if he needs to pull it out once again big knife big rambo guy could possibly be who knows who knows but definitely looking good right there you do get a backpack here of course plugs in gi joe style into his back we're accustomed to that uh, we've been accustomed to that since the 80s as we do know uh, but it is just kind of standard issue bad bash re, re uh, tread once again you got the orange against the black attack looking good and then you get down to the head and you get down to the extra helmet you got the clone commander like helmet going on uh, definitely some wear and tear to this helmet it's a helmet that's seen some things you get the orange stripe up the middle definitely feels like clone trooper stormtrooper uh, definitely on brand on point for these guys and then you get down to the head here he's got of course that uh face i don't know what that is that face paint uh john rambo style i'm not exactly sure but the headband really feels like rambo uh, and then, of course, down the side. He does got a little beard, it looks like, going on. He's got he's got a beard on one side and not the other. I'm going to grab mine out. I'm going to take a look at these heads. I'm going to grab this other one here. Take this helmet off. Well, he does have it. I guess it's just the same markings. I guess I just kind of forgot about that. It almost looks like he has a beard. It's almost like he's Two-Face uh, from Batman, of course. But, of course, as well, a lot of reuse. A lot of uh, the similarities here. But, boy, oh, boy, the big similarity or the big difference between these two is definitely the colors on this one. Very dark on the original one. A lot brighter here. A lot brighter with a little bit of the white, the gray, the brown, uh, the turquoise kind of blue color going on. And then he does got a little... Uh, gosh, what you, a shawl? Is it a shawl? He does have this that he did not have over here. So that is a little point of difference, which is desperately needed on these things. But definitely more colorful than his original counterpart. There's no doubt about it with that one. It definitely looks pretty good as far as Hunter goes. And once again, it's a repaint. I could see people passing. But if for some reason you missed out on the first wave, maybe you dive in on the second wave. I guess it all depends uh, what you want to do out there and how you want to do it. And I'm trying to find myself a ringside collectible stand. I always have a bunch here at the table, as you know, and there's one right there. Does he fit on a stand? Let's check that out right now. Fits perfectly here. I don't know. I don't really need to walk through the articulation on him. It's going to be the exact same as tech, as you do know. Typical Black Series articulation. But definitely an interesting one. Definitely feels more different than this one. They both are different with the color schemes. Uh, but looking at these two side by side, I mean, they really feel very, very different with the color schemes. Very, very different. And I'm here for that. The more difference you can give us on a repaint, the better. A different head, even better from there. This just kind of is what it is. But it's two more addition members of the Bad Batch in their mercenary gear in Hunter and Tech. What are your guys' thoughts? Are these pickups for you? Were they easy? Easy passes are they long gamers you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and of course don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to both youtube channels as i've been saying we got another second youtube channel you can link it from this very video from this channel if you need to a lot of stuff going on over there a lot of overflow of stuff like this but some new content as well i think if you like this channel you'll definitely like so check that out over there and don't forget about the patreon for early access to videos on both channels and a lot of stuff going on over there at the patreon every time every day and of course best way to support this very youtube channel you can also support the channel prosnts.com search kyle peterson and don't forget social media sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on instagram so for the bad batch i'm kyle see you guys all real soon